games tonight, Stephen A. What do you expect? Who's going to win? You know, Skip Bayless, Kerry Champion, I got to tell you that normally, considering the fact that Teddy Bridgewater's in the house and that seemed to have infused the Minnesota Vikings just a little bit, that it would be popular to go along the lines of, well, you know, the Minnesota Vikings are going to roll up into Green Bay and they're going to handle their business. However, the key thing is that they're going to be at Lambeau Field. They're going to be on the home turf for the bad man that he is who returned to being a bad man last week against your Chicago Bears. Yeah, shock to okay? you. And, and, I, and I'm telling you right yeah, now, you. Yeah. although I expect Terry Bridgewater to play, Mm -hmm. Okay, Teddy Bridge, yeah. Teddy, Terry, Teddy, Bridge or Terry. Play, He's okay? so good. He can be, yeah, Terry. He can be whatever he yeah. wants right now. Yeah. The bottom line is very, very simple. He ain't the bad man. That bad man is Aaron Rodgers. Now, I do understand. They have thrown me for a loop here. I didn't expect once AP went down, obviously he's out because of his old child abuse situation. I didn't expect this kid, Jared McKinnon, to come out of the woodwork and do what he did. But the guy had 18 carries for 135 yards, albeit against an Atlanta defense that is highly suspect. But Green Bay isn't an exact the Seattle Seahawks and no. the San Francisco 49ers. So as far as I'm concerned, if you're capable of doing it Atlanta, against Atlanta, you're capable of doing it against Green Bay. I also saw this dude. I'm expecting Cordero Patterson to really step up and do his thing. He only had two receptions last week. The dude that did it was this kid, Jarius Wright. Eight receptions, 132 yards. I'm kind of shocked by all of this. Yep. So you got Wright. You still got Greg Jennings. You still got Cordero Patterson. All right, this kid McKinnon, if he can do some things, they can make things interesting. I expect a battle. But in the end, you are in Green Bay. You are going up against that bad man, Aaron Rodgers, okay? Jordy Nelson is still there. Randall Cobb, there was a sighting last week, there was okay? A so I'm looking at it from the perspective that Green Bay is getting their groove back, okay? They understand they don't need to go two and three. They under, Aaron Rodgers told us to relax, pump the brakes. Huh? That's what we did. And next thing you know, he responded the way a champion and a great player responds. And I anticipate. Wait, he's a champion? No. Aaron Rodgers. I'm sorry. He doesn't have a Super Bowl championship. Yes, when was that? Oh, it was, it was a, a long time ago. ago. I forgot. I but forgot. You know, it's been so but long you long remember God. Tom Brady. Wow. <laughs> you remember well, Tom Brady. Three, you remember huh? Tom. Well, I'm sorry. Aaron Rodgers wasn't even a quarterback when Tom Brady was winning Super Bowls. So that was a long time ago. Let's it's see, not New like England has played in three straight AFC championship games. But, uh, but go ahead. I'm go sorry. Ahead. And, and Aaron Rodgers simply won a Super Bowl. You call and it whatever you want. So what? I don't know. Every year, Peyton Manning has one Super Bowl in 16 years. I don't hear you saying anything about him. Be quiet. I'd zip it until I finish my point. The point what that I'm trying to point? make to you <laughs> is that the Packers are going to win this game tonight because they're at Lambeau Field, they're on their home turf, and this is a divisional game, and they know they don't need to lose even more ground against Detroit. I'm picking the Packers to win tonight's game 33-24. 33-24. You know, it's interesting. As you made your case, it sounded to me a whole lot suspiciously like you were having to talk yourself into the bad man who well, is you Aaron Rodgers. what you want. You're no? usually wrong anyway, so I mean, uh, you're wrong here. No, I was not. I, I, I think you have it. some trepidation about this pick. Well, That's I, what oh, I just no, heard no, I don't have voice. any trepidation. I always have a little bit of trepidation when it comes to green base defense. Okay. But I have no trepidation about Aaron Rodgers. I have no trepidation about okay. him. Okay. He's a bad man, Skip. You know what? He, he was a bad man against the Chicago Bears yes, at Soldier Field. Yes, he was. No shock to me because I predicted he would be a bad man. You did not, but that's okay. Oh, so back to your team, your Green Bay Packers. And, and I look Reverse at psychology. 24th overall in defensive efficiency. They're, they're just not very good on defense. Mm -hmm. And I look at their running game, ranked 28th in the National Football League. 28? I'm not happy. Where's Eddie Lacy? I don't know. Not he's happy. not sure. He doesn't say he's, he says he's not very comfortable in the shotgun, trying to run out of the shotgun. So I look at this football team, and you, you said you did have a Randall Cobb sighting, but it's sort of bad man or bust for the Green Bay Packers, right? Isn't, isn't he the whole show now? I, it's I, like, I agree with that. So when, when he says to R.E. L.A.X., yeah. you, you, you know, it's, it's all on him to make you relax, right? Because he either has to have a huge game or I don't think they're very good without him being the bad man that he he often is. I'll give you often. So now let's swing around to the other quarterback. Will Teddy Bridgewater play tonight? I don't know for sure. They're saying it's more of a game time decision made. There's been some report here in the last five minutes that we'll I don't know about, they but, but they yet. haven't said anything yet. I'm going to guess that Teddy Bridgewater will play. He said he felt 
pretty good. So am I. Right? So let's let's guess that he does. I'm, a, I'm making my assumption. Uh, I'm making my okay. Under the assumption he's going to. All right. So I'm going to base my pick on the fact that Teddy will play at Lambeau Field and that, frankly, I think he's going to play like a rookie tonight. Just tonight. This is prime time Thursday night by yourself football. Mm -hmm. And Stephen A., I'm not going to back off what I thought of Teddy before the draft. He, he had a, an absurdly great first game last week, just absurdly great. 19-30 to 30 for 317, and he ran it five times for 27 yards. A QBR of 85.6 on a scale of 100. It was impressive. It, it was spectacular. Did he catch Atlanta a little by surprise? And we're talking about a reeling Atlanta that is just coming apart at the seams now after they demolished Tampa, right? Now they're having more problems than they the offense. They've Miles lost two more starters. Guys. Okay, that's a whole nother that's issue. A whole nother issue. So Minnesota wins at Minnesota 41 to 28. And I will say this for Mike Zimmer. He can really coach defense. And all of a sudden, they're 12th in the NFL in points allowed. That's pretty good. So, so every game, except for the New England game, where it got out of hand because they had some, some uh, special teams turnovers, mm -hmm. they hang in because the defense is hanging in. It's, it's keeping them in the ball game. So I, I'm going to say that tonight Aaron Rodgers has another what, what I would call great game. I'm going to say that Aaron Rodgers puts up 30 points and that Teddy Bridgewater is going to have a long night. Mm -hmm. I'll give them 17 because Green Bay is so bad on defense, but I'll say Teddy throws his first couple of interceptions because that's just usually what happens to rookies. So, okay, so now let's look back at what happened right before the draft. Why did he last until the 32nd pick yeah. in the draft? Why did Teddy Bridgewater last? Because late in his year, I talked again and again about this on this show. In those last few games against Houston, Memphis, Cincinnati, he wasn't very accurate. And then what happened, remember, in his pro day? Yeah, oh, he's, my he's, gosh. He said it he was, was because awful. he didn't wear his gloves. I don't know. He, then he, he said nervous. he didn't feel very well. Yeah. He looked scared. He, was he just looked scared. Yeah. Do you remember this? He looked scared where? At the pro at day. day at, when it, his individual pro day. Okay. He couldn't throw a spiral. Yeah. He was throwing curveballs in the dirt on his pro day with no defense out there, obviously. And... It really made me question, and, and it made the whole first round question, which is why he fell all the way to 32nd. North Turner can really coach young kids. He's really good at this. So, so he's getting him in the perfect position to do the best he can do. I, I'm going to say that over time that he turns out to be just a pretty good quarterback and not not that guy who went 19. Well, 30. let's be clear about something here. Uh, I mean, I don't know how much stock you're placing in a pro day. Quite a uh, bit. You know, for me personally, uh, I think the jitters that he experienced during pro day, I think it's safe to say that's over. Okay? If he's going to have jitters, it was going to be last week in an NFL True. game. You, you might not have counts. them tonight. Well, I'm just saying, why would, you have jitter, why would you have jitters on pro day? Don't have jitters against the Atlanta Falcons in a regular season game. You're very first. But then all of a sudden, you're going to have jitters tonight. I don't believe Low that. expectations well, in your well, first start well, well, for a bad no, team. No, I don't, I don't, be, team, I don't believe team. that. Because if you remember, the Minnesota Vikings opened the season beating up on St. Louis. And then after that, they lost two straight. And everybody was talking about how Teddy Bridgewater's time was coming because you didn't anticipate that Matt Castle would be that guy. So because of it, I, I don't think it was low expectations at all. I just think that pro day is far different. And I think a lot of people have to take into consideration whether it's pro day it's the nfl scouting combine you're dissected the kind of questions that you have to endure the, 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 there's so many things beyond just football that affects your psyche that when you go out there it may end up it may it may end up affecting you in a very detrimental fashion <laughs> but when you're on the field on the sunday it's just about playing football okay and that's so, what it is. So lay it on the line. What do you see? For, uh, project Teddy I, I, Bridgewater. I, I, is he going to be a star? I, I think Teddy Bridgewater has the potential to be a star. I don't think he's going to be a scrub. I don't think we're going to look at him, nor do I believe we're going to be talking about him the way that we talk about Geno. I do believe, however, my concern with Teddy Bridgewater is his size. He sat up here. We met him. Yeah. Incredibly nice kid. Uh, just Although, can I say this sure. real quick? Now, I, I don't. I don't find him to have a dynamic personality. No, he doesn't. Like, a, like he doesn't. leadership. He doesn't. He does right? not, and that's fine. Okay. And that's fine. But what I'm saying to you is that I think his size is a factor. Yeah. Because let's face reality, there's some massive dudes in the NFL. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see some of these dudes, you're like, Lord, don't even breathe on right. me. That's how big they are. Yep. So imagine them putting licks on Teddy Bridgewater. I sincerely wonder what level of durability he's, he going, he's going to be able to have over the course of his I NFL career. But outside of that, 
I look at him in terms of his poise, his decision making, the fact that the team talks about, and they're not always raving about it. They're almost saying that he's too cool to a fault to some degree. He just doesn't seem to be phased. I think in his situation, that's going to bode well for him. And as a result, I don't, I don't think he'll ever be bad. It's just a matter of whether he'll be good or great. Okay. We both pick Green Bay to win this division. You hanging in with that? Of course. Okay. Of course. I think we both picked the Lions to win a wild card. Yes. I'm definitely hanging in with that, and I'm going to hang in with my pick. I certainly didn't pick Chicago to go to the playoffs. I can tell you that. Neither did I. If I did, I did had, to, I had amnesia score? that day. Yep. 30 to 17. Okay. And uh, Stephen A. says 33 24. Yep. This update again, the latest on Teddy Bridgewater, says he, quote, feels pretty good. As mentioned, Vikings have him still as questionable tonight. Teddy so Bridgewater will, will play tonight. I think you're right. Yeah, I think he probably will. Uh, gentlemen, to the AFC North, shall we?